There's no words to say how heartbreaking. Cynthia Moten and her family say they had to stand by powerless as coronavirus spread through Glen Hazel Kane Regional, taking the life of their father, Charles Graham, and 11 others. Now they want to know if more could have been done. We can't sit back and just continue to watch it happen and get a phone call that your, your loved one is dead. That, that's not good enough. Here at Glen Hazel, Allegheny County says it's followed CDC guidelines to isolate and contain the virus. But as in other nursing homes and extended care facilities across the region, COVID-19 has defied all those efforts, claiming the vast majority of its victims. Throughout Allegheny County, 86 of the 109 people who have died of the virus were nursing home or extended care residents. In Beaver, they account for 66 of the total 73 deaths there. And in Westmoreland County, they are 24 of the total 27 deaths in that county. Across the region, 80 percent of those who have succumbed to the virus were infected at nursing homes or extended care facilities. It's a significant challenge, and we're continuing to do the very best we can to protect the residents and the staff in those facilities. The state health department says it's done all it can do to equip facilities with protective equipment while offering guidance to contain outbreaks. But critics say they were slow to test residents and staff to identify and prevent spread. Look, full disclosure, my father is in a long-term care facility. It's personal. State Representative Rob Matzi's district includes Brighton Rehabilitation and Wellness Center, where 60 people have reportedly died. He's introduced a bill to intervene in nursing home operations to try to stop this deadly contagion. It would uh, basically say that all residents as well as staff would get tested uh, and all facilities would get an inspection. And, and I think that's necessary.